Hello stamping friends, I'm Karina with KarinasCreations.com and I'm going to show you how to make this cute card today using the brand new Pop of Petal stamp set with the matching four petal punch. You can actually get this as a bundle um, and save 10%. The bundle price is $48.50 and the order number is 148. 385 and this stamp set is wonderful absolutely love it it's so easy to stamp the cute little flowers and just punch them out to create a really cute card um, it doesn't have a greeting or any sentiments with it so this card I actually paired with the another wonderful year stamp set look at all the fun sentiments you get in this stamp set and another wonderful year is $42 for the clear mount and it's item number 146995 and before I start I just quickly want to show you two other cute cards you can make as well look at this one isn't this one sweet so the sentiment this time is actually from a big thank you stamp set this is a huge stamp set lots of uh, lots of sentiments lots of fun little playful images absolutely love it and then I made a third card as well with this set and this is super cute too and again it's using another a big thank you stamp set as well okay so let's just get started with this cute card okay first of all I cut a card base down to five and a half inches by eight and a half inches scored it um, with my paper trimmer scoring blade on my paper trimmer and scored it at four and a quarter let's open this up so my card base is done and then I got another piece of paper and it is four inches by five and a quarter inches and I'll set that aside. That's the other piece. And then I need to use the stitched shape framelit dies. Now, I always put mine, I have a little piece of uh, magnetic sheet I just got from the dollar store. And I'm going to use the, so you get four, four shapes in the circles, four shapes in the ovals, four shapes in the squares. This is probably my favorite um, framelit right now. I just love these. So I'm using the third largest shape and I am going to cut that out with the Big Shot using my Big Shot die and I just noticed that my platform's at the wrong spot so I'll kind of work ahead here. Okay the next thing I'm going to do is take my Bermuda Bay Classic stamp pad and I love our new ink pads because they open just like a compact so you just need to flip them up and slide them in place and then you're pretty much ready to go I've got my sentiment already on a block it says greatly appreciate all you do I'm just gonna give it a gentle tap 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 flip it over make sure it looks well inked stamp it on my card stock whisper away card stock and then I'll put the framelit over it and run it through my Big Shot machine. Now I'm actually going to jump ahead and cheat a bit because look, the magic of Stampin' TV, it's already done. Don't you love that? I love that. So I'll just put these framelits aside. Okay, so my greeting is done. And then I need to stamp all these flowers um, around my card base. So I kind of cheated a little bit. I actually took this and took my pencil and made a very light pencil mark around my main focal point image. And so I sort of know where I need to stamp the flowers. Okay, step one. We are taking this little flower image. You'll notice I didn't put labels on this stamp set. It's a brand new stamp set because look how well it sticks. And this is usually for background images, this little guy, so I don't really need my label on it. I know exactly what it is. I'm using the brand new Petal Pink ink. So I will just open that up. And if you're wondering where this card design came from, it's right from the catalog, the brand new catalog. So I'm casing the catalog. Why not? 
Stampin' Up! has some wonderful artistic designers who make the samples for the catalog. So I am just using their design. And I highly recommend you do that too. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, let me just see. One thing we do have now too, we sell a Simply Chamois. So I'm gonna clean my stamp. Now I went and cut my Simply Chamois into four pieces. You just need to wet it a little bit. When it gets dirty, if ink starts coming off, you just um, go to the sink, rinse it off, give it a little squeeze, and then it's done. I absolutely love these. And then I put mine in a standard um, stamping case and we do sell them at the back of the catalog. You get four in a package. Um, I think they're $11.50 but I'm not 100% sure, so don't hold me to that price. Okay, background is done, and I now need to stamp some of the flowers. So I'm using this image. Oh, I have a really good tip with this stamp set. I found that when you go to punch out your flowers, it really matters what directions you stamp them in. Reason being, let me show you. So I'm using Blackberry Bliss ink. Okay, watch this. So tap, tap, tap. You are going to stamp it on your cardstock. Then when you flip it over, it lines up perfectly so you can punch it out. And I need three of these. Now, when I first got the stamp set, I'll show you what happened. I uh, really didn't know that it uh, made a difference what direction that you mount these onto your block. And had a little bit of frustration, because watch what happens when I turn it. So you'll notice on mine I put a little black dot. For me, the, bl uh, the black dot means it's the, the top of my stamp and lines up perfectly with the punch. Now watch what happens if I had just willy-nilly put it on here, put it on the paper, stamped it. Good grief, now it doesn't line up and then you have to twist your paper and then it can be a little frustrating. So with my stamp set now, I'm gonna take each image and dot is at the top and then I won't have any more problems and then I'm a happy little stamper. So that's my tip of the day with this set. Okay, back to the card. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, so we need three flowers. The, your um, circle is gonna go here. And what did I do? I think I put one stamp, one flower here. We'll put one down here. And then we'll put one over here. And that's why it's kind of nice to have a sort of a pencil mark of where your image is going to be. And then it just makes life a lot easier. Now the other thing I did was I pre-stamped all of these little leaves with Bermuda Bay ink on Bermuda Bay cardstock and cut them out already. I didn't think you needed to watch me do that, so I kind of went ahead and did it. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of Mono Multi Glue to put them onto my card. I think I did one here. And then we'll put one down here. And you gotta remember, I know where my image is gonna be, so I know how far I want the leaves to be sticking out. Put one over here. One down here. And then I'll put another one on the uh, top part of my greeting. Okay, what do you think? Look good so far? I'm now going to take my sentiment that I have stamped already. And we will get two Stampin' Dimensionals. Love these things. You could put three. You could put four. Knock yourself out. Put six. Okay, let's put this on. Make sure my uh, greeting is straight. Ooh, that's looking pretty cute. Now I'm gonna put another flower because I find it looks really cute when you layer these a little bit and overlap the flower petals. 
So I'm going to want a little leaf image here. This is my last one, just to give it some dimension. Okay, and of course, we have to pop these up. I don't think that's really optional. That's just something you need to do. And if you need a smaller one, we do have mini Stampin' Dimensionals now, which I love, love, love. They make me happy. Dimensionals truly do make me happy. And then we'll get a third flower petal, or a second one, sorry, second, one, two, three, and then a third. I can't count today, I'm counting challenged. Okay, now greatly appreciate all you do. Put that here, like so. And that's looking pretty cute. And then I just need to get my card base, which I've already cut and scored. Like so. And again, I think it looks great when you pop it up. Now you don't have to pop it up. You could glue it on flat. I think everything needs to be popped up. Okay, here we go. And that is it. How quick was that? I didn't time the video, but I think that was a pretty quick, quick card. So, like I said, this super cute card you can make. You can make this super cute card. And my third one was this one. So, lots of fun cards that you can make using the Pop of Petal stamp set with the coordinating four petal punch. Just make sure you get a sentiment set when you get this. And for more information, you can go to my blog at uh, karinascreations.com. They're with a K, not with a C. I had to be a little different. And then any of the, um, whenever you want to place an online order, just, I always have shopping lists on every single blog post. Just click on a picture and it'll take you to my shopping store. And I do have rewards for online orders. Um, and I think that's it. So thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you have fun making this card. Have an amazing day.